Hey everyone, and now let's continue our discussion of ethanol and in this video we're going to talk about the reactions with ethanol and we're going to talk about four different reactions. So let's get started. So the first reaction we're going to look at is ethanol as a fuel and ethanol yields very very high amounts of heat therefore it can be used as a fuel so here in this reaction we have ethanol right there reacting with oxygen from the air to produce carbon dioxide water and heat so why is this an advantage to use ethanol as a fuel so let's see so the first advantage is that it can be made quite cheaply so it's a cheap kind of fuel also if countries don't have petroleum they can resort so they can resort to ethanol now also the last advantage for using ethanol as a fuel is that the amounts of carbon dioxide produced here is much much less than burning fossil fuels so therefore the carbon dioxide gas will be the percentage will be less and therefore we're gonna limit the greenhouse gas effect so let's write this so ethanol has less impact on CO2 levels. So that's it for the reaction of ethanol with oxygen gas. Now let's move on to another reaction which is an oxidation reaction. And in this reaction we use ethanol in order to make a carboxylic acid and this acid is ethanoic acid. So this is ethanoic acid. And we use in this reaction ethanol as you see right here with acidified potassium manganate in order to make the ethanoic acid and the color of potassium manganate is purple so the color here is purple and as the reaction proceeds to the right this this purple color fades away so this is what you need to know for oxidation pretty much very simple so let's move on to the third reaction and I know this diagram can be you know a little bit demotivating but I promise it's gonna be easy so we talked previously about addition reaction of ethene and water and we said this reaction yields ethanol so what if we want to reverse this reaction what if we have ethanol and we want to get ethene so in this case we use dehydration and the porcelain chips right there are simply aluminum oxide and here we have ethanol we heat it and then we pass the vapor right there and we get ethene in the test tube so let's write this reaction together so we have the ethanol reacting over the aluminum oxide to produce the ethene so it's C2H4 plus water so this is just the reverse of the addition reaction right there so let's move on to the last reaction we're going to look at and this reaction is called esterification and in this reaction alcohol react with organic acids like ethanoic acid to form esters right there in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid so in this reaction we have ethanoic acid and here is ethanol 
reacting together in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid and that would yield an ester which is ethyl ethanoate plus water. So later in the videos in this chapter, we're going to talk about esters. So don't worry about the naming. You guys need to know that the ethanol reacts in four different reactions and esterification is one of them. So let's recap. In this video, we talked about the reactions of ethanol. And firstly, we talked about ethanol as a fuel and we said why it's a good thing to use ethanol as a fuel and we said these are the advantages right there and secondly we talked about oxidation and we said that using an alcohol in this case ethanol we can make a carboxylic acid in this case it's an ethanoic acid using acidified potassium manganate and the color changes from purple to colorless now the third reaction we looked at is dehydration and we said that dehydration is simply the reverse of the addition reaction with ethene and water and this is the reaction of the dehydration right there. And finally we talked about esterification and we said that alcohols react with organic acids to produce esters in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. So that's it for this video. We're done with alcohols. In the next videos, we're going to talk about carboxylic acids, naming, reactions and all that. So stay tuned and good luck.